Hey there guys, this is Dorian with Highly Mazda of Hearst. So you might've just bought yourself a brand new CX-5, 50, 30, whatever it may be. And the infotainment system might be a little bit confusing to you, a little bit alien. So I'm here to help you out a little bit, try to get all that sorted out so you can better use it. This is the main dial that you'll be working with. This will be the one that controls everything. It's meant for safety so you can keep your eyes on the road and you can control this whole system without looking at the screen or looking down. You can do everything relatively easily. And so this is the volume knob right here. This is where you can control all your music. And if you press it, you can see it mutes it as well. And so if you don't like the screen, this also controls the screen. So if you long press it, it'll turn the screen off. So if it's a little bit distracting, that's something that you can turn off. So this is the home button. This will bring you back to this screen right here. No matter what screen you're on, if you press that home button, it'll bring you right back. So if I go to say info to our information and press that home button, boom, it'll send you right back to this screen. Same with the back button. So if we're deep in a menu somewhere like this and you need to go back a step, just hit this button right here and it'll bring you back one. So this will bring you right to this screen where all your music is. And so you press that, it'll bring you right over to the radio. So you can change it however you like with the dial and it'll come up right there. So you can, you know, AM, FM radio, Sirius XM, whatever it may be. This is the navigation. If you have a navigation card in your Mazda, it'll bring up the navigation. This one here doesn't have one, but that's the quickest way to get to your navigation map. Um, this star right down here, this is your favorites. So anytime that you have, you can see right here, anytime that you have a specific thing that you like to do real quick, you can map it to this favorites button and it will just automatically bring you there. So that's the main basics. Now, some of you, you know, obviously, apart from the controls, the, the infotainment system is a little bit deep there's a lot of settings in here and so i can go over some of the basics here with you one of the things you guys might be struggling with upon your taking delivery of your first cx5 or whatever it may be is that the radio stations might be a little bit hard to get a handle of to pick the right radio station so if we open up this entertainment screen right here so again the entertainment screen boom and to to select anything you press the dial straight down by the way so you press it down like that and so once you do that in the infotainment or the uh radio screen here you press it down it'll open up this menu and so from here you can go to the station list and you can pick out whatever station it is that you like if you'd rather do something else you can do the controls so this will scan for the radio station you can go forward or back and so you can hit the back button to go back one and manual tuning is also something that you can do so you can see here you need to go back hit that back button it'll bring us right to this menu and so manual tuning this is probably the easiest one for all y'all is that you just scroll it straight over to whatever radio station you need to bring it to. So, you know, 106.1, my favorite. And then you just press the dial down and it'll bring you right over there. So that's pretty much how that radio system works in general with the commander switch. A couple of extra things, just a little, little bonus for y'all because there's some settings hidden deep in here that you might want to know about. So in vehicle settings, actually, if you go here, um, there is a couple of things you can do. So you can see there's this door setting and you can do keyless auto lock. So this will be wherever you just turn off the car, walk away and the doors will lock for you. So if that's something that you guys were hoping that your car would come with, it does, you just have to enable it in there, in here. And so that'll, this is also, you can see a whole bunch of different other settings. You can adjust everything in this car. See the lighting, the, inter the interior lighting, these turn signals, you can even say how loud you want the turn signals to be. So if you want it to be quiet, it's quiet. If you want it to be loud, it'll be a little bit louder. So hopefully that cleared some things up for you guys. This is Highly Monster of Hearst. We're located right off of 820 across from uh, Northeast Mall. So we're right over here. If you have any questions, anything that you might need help with, come on down. We'd be more than happy to help you out.